In today's What If episode, I'm going to explore what if the Digimon trading card game made Tribal a theme for all Digimon? At this point in time, only a handful of Digimon have Tribal capability. Agumon has many ways to search for its Greymon pieces, Tamer searching, and even Agumon Bond of Bravery. Gabumon likewise has the same searchability for Garurumon pieces, Tamer searching, and also Gabumon Bond of Friendship. There are only a handful of other rookies that provide searchability for their evolution line and or tamers in their color. And for this What If episode, I'm going to strictly cover the original 8 Digidestined. The first one that comes to mind is Karamon. So that was a fucking lie. Where just one Digimon has tamer and Digimon search all built into one. But even though Diabormon isn't technically a Digidestined's Digimon, there is still a wide variety of support. Patamon, another fan favorite, has Tamer Search capability in BT1, and Angel Search in EX1. Making TK Takashi a close follow-up to Tai Kamiya and Matt Ishida when it comes to support. But for Sora Takanuchi and Biomon, this Digimon has no way to search for Bergramon, Garudamon, and Phoenixmon. Even worse, Sora Takanuchi is one of few tamers that does not appear as a standalone memory tamer that sets you to 3. While she does appear as a tamer that can provide DP buffs to your Digimon, and as a co-op tamer in purple with Mimi, Biomon has zero support in the purple category unless you count Ornismon as a Dark Phoenixmon counterpart. Additionally, Sora appears as a co-op tamer with Joe Kido, but again there's no support for Sora and Biomon in the blue category. Despite this, I'd love to see standalone support for each Digestion tamer, for which Biomon typically focuses on DP buffs and extra security checks. Arguably P049 Phoenixmon will bring a lot to the table as you can trash security if the Digimon is blocked. 1 versus 2 security, you decide. But in terms of memory stabilization and searching, Sora and Biomon are lacking in this department. Moving to Joe Kido, he's another Digidestin that does not have a memory tamer. That being said, you do get to gain 2 memory with Sora and Joe if your opponent has a Digimon with no evolution sources. And thankfully, Ikakumon and Zudomon have some Digivolution source strip effects. And even with the new boss monster Vikemon that lets you stun and bounce Digimon back to your opponent's hand, there's no Tamer search and no search for Ikakumon, Zudomon, Vikemon, or Plesiomon. Kari is another lackluster Tamer that has good support for TK, but as a standalone Digidestined, has little to no support if you were to make a standalone Salomon, Gatomon, Angelomon, Magnadermon, and Ophanimon deck. Personally, in my opinion, Salomon suffers from the same problems as Patamon and its evolution lineup, in which there's no focus on whether you want to focus on security recovery or DP depletion. I will admit, though, a lot of the promos that are coming out in BT7 will definitely give a boost to a lot of the Digidestined for the next round of Adventure Cup. And we will eventually get Kari Kamiya as a stable memory tamer in BT8. Ironically, even though Palmon and Mimi have the best tamer out of the original 8 Digidestined, Palmon support is very lackluster. And it's not because Palmon as a Digimon sucks, but the fact that Green has very sporadic support. Considering Green lacks good removal, and its boss monsters leave little effect on the meta. Palmons have Digimon Search, but only level 4s, and Togemon does the heavy lifting with level 5s and higher. But in general, it's the lack of green removal that makes not only Mimi Tachikawa and Palmon Tribal viable, but Izzy Azumi and Tentomon as well. Izzy Azumi is the last tamer to go over in this video, and for this Digidestin, Izzy lacks a formal tamer in the color of green that places your memory to 3. In addition, Tentomon doesn't do much searching other than revealing the top card and adding it to your hand if it's a green Digimon. And that's the only searcher. That being said, Kabuterimon, Mega Kabuterimon, and Hercules Kabuterimon have some amazing effects that if there was some searchability in the Tentomon lineup, pure Kabuterimon tribal would be amazing. In general, what if every Digimon that had a Digidestin or Tamer had a memory Tamer associated with it? Would this assist with searching, memory reduction, or a gimmick that would make tribal viable? In general, I feel that a memory Tamer for every Digidestin would be nice if you wanted to play in a specific theme or set of cards. But luckily, Digimon in this card game aren't restricted to their evolution lines like the old Digimon Digibattle from the 90s. But what are other cards you'd love to see make it to each tribal partner? What if each Digidestin's partner Digimon could not only search for the Champion, Ultimate, or Mega in the Evolution line, but could also search for the Tamer, 
or block memory as well. What if each of their champion stage was a blocker? At this point, Agumon and Gapumon are the closest to complete tribal lines, just missing their blockers. Sure, tribal Kabuterimon and tribal Devimon is possible, but what they lack most is searchers and memory tamers. With Bandai showing some initiative for testing mulligans and side deck, I would not be surprised if a few more sets down the line we do get blockers for these Digimon. But as of right now, Monochromon seems to be the only blocker who gets a repeat. What are your thoughts on tribal decks for the future, and what would you like to see? I'm sure you'd love to see characters like Mon from Rearise as a tamer for Jessmon decks, or Jessmon tribal in general, or even Takudo from Next Order as a new tamer for Agumon and Gabumon. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is Digipanda. Logging out.